All right, folks, Paul here again. Um, most people, if you watch my channel, probably think I've got way too many RC cars, which a lot of people think I do, but I personally don't. So uh, I've just got another mystery one in this box here. Um, won a bit of money on, on a gambling app at my missus plays on her phone. Won myself a good few hundred pound on that, so I've done that again today as well. So I seem to be quite lucky right now, but um, anyway, enough about that. Let's see what I've got. Obviously you have to be very careful opening these boxes because these cars aren't cheap so you've got to take your time with this. Alright folks, here it is. Arma Typhoon 3S. Yep, I'm an Arma fanboy now. After getting that outcast, Arma's the future, I'm telling you. So what I'll do is I'll take it inside and have a wee quick look before I'm going to have a wee shot of it. Right, I'll not go over this too much because obviously there's other videos for that kind of stuff but um, yeah, it's my new toy here so firstly, I love the look of it, it looks really nice it's something a bit different, I've never had a buggy and this was so dirt cheap, it was unbelievable it's literally like £250 and that was with everything can't can't complain, especially my winnings as well, it just feels like a free a free toy so um, I'll have a look inside it first there's a case, it's got the the classic armor wee sort of straps to hold on the clips which are absolutely fantastic superb um, yeah inside that it's obviously got your motor you've got your velcro straps for your battery your ESC everything looks pretty easy to work on um, and it just looks pretty cool just now I'm a bit short of a soldering iron so I've used connector block here this is temporary just to put my XT90 adapter on because it comes with a EC5 I think it's called one and that's not good to me because I run everything on XT90s but um, yeah that's basically it there like you can see suspension seems pretty good it's got nice sort of spring feel to it um, well designed well laid out like like mother arma is um, the cars was a 3S or 6S one as well you get but um, I think the only difference is it's the same size but it's a metal plate on the 6S and beefier shocks and stuff but we have in 6 and 8S cars sometimes it's nice having something 3S you get a bit more battery time more batteries we, uh, um, we'll see how long we last when it's out but yeah it's a really nice little car especially for the money um, another good thing the Arma Tactics the sort of tactic controller they give you absolutely superb i absolutely love them there's so much adjustability on it absolutely great so i'll not talk much more nonsense for too much longer i'll just um get the case back on this um and what i'll do is i'll head out get a little shot of it see how it is but i think it's going to be good i just like, turned it on quickly in the garden there just to check my connections there's a little bit of grass and stuff on it but it seems like it's got a good amount of power um so yeah we'll see how it goes so next bit of the video let's see some action <coughs> that's me finally here the first thing i've noticed about this car it's an absolute bonus because i've got things like my udr and my x01 um the outcast as well all these big cars is walking me to go with this thing it's nice and easy it's nice and light not really any effort um that's a big bonus with doing something a bit smaller again tend to forget when you're driving the bigger cars how actually heavy they are to carry about so switch it on now obviously steering's all good see I'm not going to be out too long today just a quick wee shot to see what it's like um, they probably do nothing too crazy and we'll see that now but you never know um, go home get my dinner chill out actually really really tired tonight the amount of driving I've done today it works insane but um, I thought I heard somebody behind me there Bit creepy here in the middle of nowhere but um anyway we'll see how this goes so supposedly it does 50 mile an hour which we soon find out but i 
nice, nice light handle on that. It's really good. Yeah, I like this already. I don't know what it's like a hill climb, and I'll start off with that. I think I'm going to have to chill out on buying them now. I've got the infraction I'm going to get, that's a definite. But um, after that, I might, might give it a little while before I get anything else because I think the missus is going to kill me eventually. Like, It's really controllable, even coming down. It's, I think it's because it's so light, it's just. I feel like you can really throw it about. impressed this little car. I didn't have the reverse on, I just noticed there when I first took it out, but I just reset the throttle controls, so for whatever reason that wasn't done, reverse came on, no problem, but um, aye, it's absolutely amazing, 3S, it's, it's more than enough, I mean, if you've got, like, think of the batteries you've got, two 3S's every time you take the UDR out, or the Outcast, for example, but I mean, you're getting twice the battery time, and I'm still on the first battery here, I don't know how long I've been out, maybe about a half hour, doesn't feel like it's run out of any juice, I've not been going too crazy, I'll maybe a little bit on the hill climbs, but um, ah, this is a fun little RC. Right, well, everything I can say about this car is absolutely positive, so all I'll really do now before I go home is I'll take it on the road for a little second, um, try and do a little speed run, no way any GPS or that, just, just to give you a rough idea of the kind of speed it's got. If anybody's looking even just to get into RC cars for a first car, I think this would be a great choice because it's a, a good all round balance of speed, power, fun. You've seen the hill climbing it can do is pretty impressive. Um, and plus, even for modifications, I mean, you can do crazy stuff with these. I've been watching a video on YouTube, I think a guy had one up to like 95 mile an hour or something. Um, I think what they do is the rear spoiler on it, I've seen people put one on the front as well. They make it like an F1 car sort of look, get a bit more downforce. 
but we'll see what it can do just now, just out of standard out the box. See if there's anything coming. So I'll just set up my GoPro on my phone just now, and I can see I've got it facing right. This should be a long enough little street road. Yeah, that's fine, so... Right, nothing coming, so we'll give it a little speed go. That's pretty fast. I would say that's definitely about 50 mile an hour, like they say. break before that junction, come on, look, a car will come. That's a handle, it's nice on the road there. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. So the road's a bit less forgiving than off-road. That bump do anything to it? Nope, nothing at all, so... Tire grip's really good. Right, well, that's probably enough for today. Head home, get this steak I'm totally excited for. So, thanks for watching and more videos coming up soon. See you guys later. Bye. I don't know if that's still recording, but if it is, Never switch your controller off before your car, because that's what happens. <laughs> See you later, bye.